asked, wrote in and asked for us to describe the differences and the advantages and the disadvantages of the European trucks versus the American trucks. Ever glanced at a truck and wondered, what's the deal with that design? Well, once you catch on, it's impossible to miss the glaring differences between American and European trucks. Over here in the States, our trucks sport a long nose with the cabin snugly positioned behind the engine, creating that classic powerhouse look. Cross the pond and you'll find cab over trucks where the cabin sits directly above the engine creating a more compact profile. But why such a stark contrast? What do these design choices mean in terms of advantages and disadvantages? Let's take a look at it. Design and aesthetics. When it comes to the world of semi-trucks, the differences between American and European designs are striking. In the US, names like Freightliner, Mack, Kenworth, and Peterbilt dominate the highways with their robust, imposing presence. These trucks boast muscular, aggressive designs, featuring prominent front grills and towering hoods. With their long noses and spacious cabs, American trucks are built for power and endurance, stretching out on longer wheelbases. Across the Atlantic, it's a different story. European giants like Volvo, DAF, MAN, Scania, and Mercedes-Benz champion a sleek, aerodynamic aesthetic. These cab-over trucks place the engine beneath the cab, creating a compact, efficient design. Streamlined and modern, they prioritize fuel efficiency and reduced wind resistance. Why American truck cabs are like tiny homes. Ever wonder why American truck cabs are so massive compared to their European counterparts? It's all about the lifestyle of owner-operators in the US. These drivers often own their rigs and spend months on the road, practically living in their trucks. As a result, American truck cabs are designed to be more like tiny homes packed with amenities. We're talking fridges, microwaves, freezers, wardrobes, large beds, and even windows. Some even come with their own toilets. These spacious, feature-rich cabins provide the comfort needed for life on the road. In contrast, European truckers usually don't spend as much continuous time in their trucks, so the need for such extensive living quarters isn't as pressing. While you can spend several days in a European cab over truck, the comfort level just doesn't match the homey feel of an American rig. Size matters. The stark differences between American and European trucks are a testament to the regulations and road conditions of each region. In Europe, strict rules dictate that a semi-truck can only stretch up to 18.75 meters, or roughly 61 feet. This means European trucks need to be as compact as possible to maximize cargo space. Height regulations also play a role. In the US, trucks can tower up to 13.5 feet, while in Europe, the maximum height is 13.1 feet. The tighter restrictions in Europe are due to older infrastructure and narrow roads, especially in cities. American highways, on the other hand, can easily accommodate the taller trucks. Once popular in the US, cab over trucks gave way to the roomier, more convenient conventional designs, thanks to fewer restrictions. Engine Titans When it comes to engine and performance, both continents boast impressive power hooses. In the US, major players like Packer, Detroit, Mack, and Cummins dominate, with the Detroit DD15 leading the pack. This 14.8-litre inline-six engine delivers 505 horsepower and 1,750 pound-feet of torque, a favourite among Freightliner and Western Star Trucks. The Cummins X-15 and Detroit DD-16 push the envelope further with 605 and 600 horsepower, respectively. Speed and aerodynamics. Speed limits and aerodynamics further highlight the transatlantic divide. 
European trucks are capped at 90 km per hour, with gross weight limits varying widely between 88,000 to over 200,000 pounds, depending on the country. In contrast, some US regions allow trucks to hit 129 to 137 km per hour, with a uniform gross weight limit of 80,000 pounds. On America's long, straight highways, the superior aerodynamics and longer wheelbase of the iconic long-nosed trucks provide a clear advantage for those extensive hauls. Crash and safety features. Safety is paramount in the trucking industry, and every brand rigorously tests its cabs through multiple crash tests before they hit the road. However, the lack of publicly available crash test data makes it impossible to compare the safety of different brands directly. This means we can't definitively say that conventional cabs are safer than cab overs, but there's a compelling argument for the long nose design. In a conventional truck, the long hood serves as a crumple zone, providing a buffer between the driver and any potential collision. In contrast, Cab overs offer little more than a windshield between the driver and whatever the truck hits. This design difference suggests that conventional cabs might offer better protection in head-on collisions. Despite this, the number of fatal accidents involving heavy trucks in the USA is six to eight times higher than in Europe. From 2009 to 2012, Europe saw just 0.013 fatal truck accidents per thousand registered vehicles. This stark difference suggests that European manufacturers prioritize safety in their cab over designs, especially considering the dense populations and narrow roads they navigate. European trucks often lead the way in advanced safety technologies. On the other hand, the design of American trucks with their long noses might protect drivers better in direct collisions, but are less suited for European cities with their narrow streets and high pedestrian traffic. The larger front end limits visibility and increases the risk to other road users. Maintenance matters. American trucks are known for their lower maintenance costs, thanks to a design philosophy that prioritizes simplicity and ease of repair. This practical approach means fewer complex systems, resulting in lower repair bills and less time in the shop. Within the United States, spare parts for American trucks are widely accessible, keeping downtime to a minimum. In contrast, European trucks often lead the way in technological advancements. These rigs focus on fuel efficiency, emission control, and driver comfort packing in advanced features and cutting-edge tech. While this makes for high-performance, efficient vehicles, it also means more complex systems that require specialized maintenance and repairs. In conclusion, the stark differences between American and European trucks stem from their distinct uses and environments. Different rules govern speed, driving time, length, and weight. The roads and infrastructure vary greatly too. Neither type is inherently better. Both are tailored to meet the specific needs of their drivers, owners, and regulatory requirements. So, which truck do you think reigns supreme? Drop your thoughts in the comments. Thanks for tuning in. If you enjoyed this one, don't forget to like and subscribe for more such videos.